the homemade powdered laundry detergent. There are recipes online for liquid, but I decided powder would work fine for me. And since I've been using it, I haven't had a need to go to the liquid. And it seemed like a simpler process and um, less time consuming. And my clothes are always clean. <laughs> There's no smell. And I can take them out of the dryer now and there's no smell to them, and I think they smell great. <laughs> so what you think smells good with the laundry detergent that you're using now when you wash your clothes, because we're so used, to, we're so inundated with smells now. You know, you have the plug-ins, you have the, 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 the incense, you have the candles burning, you have those candle melts. You have everything to make your house smell good. But what's better than no smell because it's clean? and you don't need something to cover up a bad smell. That's it. Just use natural things, and, and it just is so much better. <laughs> so anyway, um, like I said, I can tell people, you know, when they walk by with what detergent they're using that has a smell. Um, anyway, OK, so what you need is a box of borax. Now, I get. I get mine at Ace Hardware only because my husband works at Ace Hardware. And so you know what that means. <laughs> so this is, this is what this looks like, a box of borax. What do you use if you're allergic to borax? Pardon? What do you use if you're allergic to borax? Maybe try just this. <laughs> and Laundry Boost, uh, it's the super washing soda. So that's the other ingredient. Are you sure you're allergic no, to borax? Oh, okay, okay. Well, then um, she'd have to probably research to find an, an alternative. Anyway, so you would take a large bowl. You could use this. Um, I'm sorry, I've got a spider with Anyway, <laughs> my husband again works at Ace, and these nails came in these. So I have a bunch, we have a bunch of these. So, again, my husband works at Ace, and uh, this is what my laundry detergent is in, because we have them, and they have a nice lid that goes on them and seals if I want it sealed, which I never have to have it sealed. And um, when I'm done making my one batch per year, I put it in here, and I have a one tablespoon scoop, and I just scoop out, put it in my, my wash machine, and it holds it, and once a year, I make laundry soap. So, for a family, it's good to have like a five-gallon bucket. Yes, yeah, and you can make like five, five or six batches, whatever it takes to fill it. Because this is just two of us, two of us. I make it once a year, and so don't think it's from December to December. It's from I made it last year in the fall, and I will probably make it again by sometime in the summer but I won't make it again until sometime next year. So it's just when it runs out in the following year. See what I'm saying? So it's not like a 12 month thing. It maybe is only 10 months, but you're gonna always go over to the next year. So, so that's kind of, I need to explain that. And thank you, Roxanne, for a larger family. And two people could do that. You would have it prepared for the, the, um, and the, the, the disasters that are coming, right? <laughs> But you would want to have things on hand ahead of time. Make sure you have things ready. Anyway, I have like a three-year supply. I put them in these buckets and stack them. So I think I have, I may have two or three sitting just because then it's done and I don't have to worry about it. Okay, so who's familiar, who's familiar with Fells NAFTA? Okay, so this is what I use. Other people have used, I know Mary Campbell who has a um, booth in the other room. She uses um, another kind of bar. She thinks it's more natural. Zoda. Yes, yeah. Can you, we can Zoda eat. Zoda Fels? Fels Naphtha. F-E-L-S-N-A-P-T-H-A. -E you can get it at, yeah, a hardware store, Ace Hardware carries it. Walmart, yeah. 
Sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I've seen them up to places. Anyway, I use seven to nine bars of that. Now, you can look online and they'll say two bars, but I've seen more than that, so I've seen up to nine bars. So I, I use between seven and nine, depending on how much money I have to spend and what I have on hand. So anyway, so when I do that, so what you do, the first thing you do is you take your bar of Fels naphtha, just one, just, oh, well, you, yeah, you'll see. <laughs> so I have a cutting board and a big knife. And I open this up, I put it on the cutting board, and I cut it into big chunks, okay? Then I put it in my blender, and it's a Vitamix. A Vitamix, but you could use probably other blenders, but it may take longer. And I just put it in here, because this is soap. And you know soap is gonna clean your blender, so you just rinse it real good. But I put those big chunks in there, and I probably put two bars maybe in each time. And I blend it up till it comes out like this. That's pretty, it's, I'll pass it around. I've also graded it, but it's a lot I started grading it. <laughs> yeah, you can grade it if you want, but it's a lot of work and a lot of time. And my husband likes to grade for me, but he didn't like grading that. So I went to the, the, the Vitamix. And it's quick and it's easy, so you can do it in about five minutes. <laughs> You just keep chopping those in big pieces. So what you do once that's done, first of all, when you're done blending it with the lid on, let it sit. <laughs> yeah, you, <laughs> you all know what's going to happen if you don't. Poof, and you're smelling it. I mean, it just, it's fine. Now, well, so make sure you give it a minute to die down, and then empty it in your bowl or your container. And then, or you can put these in first, or the fell snap. Put, put the borax and the laundry in first, or the fell snap, whichever you prefer. Is that all, everything out of the containers? Yeah, the full boxes. Yeah, it's the full box. Full box. And those cases come in different sizes, are those what? This is, this is standard. It's uh, four pounds, one ounce. And the, the washing is 55 ounces. So anyway, put them all together in your container. If you have a container with a lid, I would say put them all together, put the lid on tight, and turn it upside down and around. You know, every which way you're stirring it then I would stir it. I would stir it to make sure, or you know, stir it a little bit. Then you're gonna come back and put it through the Vitamix because that, that what you saw will become more fine powder. So when you're done, you've got very fine powder, and I should have brought, you know, having, having the camp meeting this weekend and this the next day has, anyway, <laughs> it's been a busy week. Um, then stir, you know, put it back in here, put your lid on, mix it up, put your lid on, and put it by your wash machine. And it's, you don't have to use a lot of it. I use one tablespoon, yeah, it says one tablespoon for small to medium loads and a tablespoon and a half for large. Kathy, what did you put in the blender again? I'm sorry. The Fels naphtha, the laundry booster, and the borax. Once you've stirred them with the, with the kind of coarse that's going around, you put them in, you mix them, then you put them back through here. So now it makes it a powder. That's what makes it the powder. Yeah. So it's a couple of steps. So the super washing soda, is that the same as just washing soda that you can make from the baking soda? I've never done that. What do you add to the baking soda? Oh, washing. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, that would work for the same thing as the super. I mean, what's the super about? 
I haven't heard of that, so I'm not sure. It just says it's sodium bicarbonate or sodium carbonate and water. So it's very simple. So maybe maybe not. Yeah. Arm and hammer laundry booster, it says super washing soda. <laughs> yes, I found it there before. Thank you. So because you saw this was I mean it's pretty pretty fine, but when you mix it with this, it just puts it all together. Yes. It's like 97 cents. I mean, it may be a little bit more. I haven't bought any, and maybe it's a dollar 25. I don't know. Walmart, yeah, Walmart, Ace Hardware. Some of the hardware stores, I don't know. Yes, for, for a bucket. I've used nine. I'm, I'm down to about seven. I, it does a good job too. So if you can use a little less, then I use a little less. Just, just for two, a box of each of these, yeah, and seven, seven, I only have four bars here, or I only have two out there for a show. Well, I'm using seven now, but you can use seven to nine if your clothes are really dirty. So, you put... A box of this in. A box of this. Round up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can cut down if you want, because I've read from two to nine. So there's a wide range. You can decide what you want to do, and you can try it. I preferred the more. I thought, well, I'm going to do the maximum. <laughs> but, but my clothes are clean, but they're clean at seven, too. So I've kind of cut back. So you decide, make a batch, see what you think. So Just a minute. Yes? Um, I'm wondering about using this for like high efficiency washers, so we can use them in different I have, a, I have a high efficiency. Okay. It's no suds. So I want to warn you, you put this in, your water turns gray, and you go, I'm putting my clothes in that? Right? I mean, we don't think gray waters. <laughs> but they come out clean. So it's just the way it turns the water. It's not a problem. Okay, just a minute. Oh, that was okay. Do you put it directly in the, um, inside the... Yeah. Uh, well, I have a, a, I have a place where you, uh, you put it and it dispenses from... In my old washer, I just dumped it in. Before you put the water in? Any time. <laughs> but usually, yeah. Okay, yeah, okay. Yes. Another question? A, a comment? Yes. How old was it? And it, so three, four. Well, no, well, How old was I, the I, washer? Yeah, it, it wasn't that old. Okay. Well, that's what this is. Yeah, but the only used two bars, and it wasn't exactly bars, and it wasn't Yeah. Oh. So I'm just wondering if I used too much, or it was just coincidental. Right. Yeah, because I've had no problem. I'm, um, we've had this newer wash machine for... I'm going to say at least three years, and my old one was old, and it quit for other reasons. I don't, I don't even remember what happened or why it quit, but it quit. <laughs> and so we got this new HE, 
and it's working fine. And uh, I don't know. I don't have the answer. I'm sorry. But it's... Because our water is a And it could be hard water. But we had a washer before that. They made them better back then. <laughs> Maybe that's the, it could be manufactured. Okay, so any more? Oh, yes, one more question. Are you going to have a handout about these recipes? Yes, yeah, you don't need to write them down. I have handouts, and so they're, they're coming. Yeah. Okay, we're running out of time, so yes, Roxanne. You don't have to use spell snapta if you're like concerned about the chemicals and that or whatever. Um, so that's just an option. Like, I just want to let people know that. Okay. And I actually use a food processor. My old one that I got was going to get rid of. I just grate everything in there and then I put the borax and the washing soda and like all in there and grind it all up in there and it turns it to a powder. Okay. The other issue you have, if you're using cold water wash, sometimes it sticks to the clothes and it, you'll see it after the fact. Mm. Um, I, was, I just learned that you just put a little bit of vinegar in your wash and it <coughs> stops that. Okay. So keep those in mind. Good tips. Thank you. Okay. So we're going to... Um, okay. So, a foaming hand soap. Sorry, I had to use what I have. I didn't order any new ones, and I tried to buy them and couldn't find them when I went to natural grocers. Anyway, so you can tell this is well used. But um, anyway, this is about the size you'll get if you order them. It's 10 to 12 ounces. And uh, the recipe I have, of course, um, says 10 ounces, but this is very forgiving and um, easy to make. And anybody can make this. The young people can make it for their parents. That will save mom the, the time doing it. Okay, so with the foaming, oh, okay. I forgot my, my gallon jug of distilled water. <laughs> uh, please forgive me for that, but you want to use distilled water because if you use regular water, it needs to be used up faster. It could not last as long. But usually these don't last that long because you wash your hands so much. So use distilled water. I keep some on for ironing too. Anyway, what you need is two tablespoons with the distilled water of Castile soap. I was looking for a new bottle of it and I found this um, on sale. No, I bought, found it at Walmart and it was cheaper than even what was on sale at natural grocers. So you might want to look at Walmart if you want Dr. Bonner's Castile soap. But I noticed that there's more brands of Castile soap now. That used to be the only thing I could ever find. But now there's other manufacturers and Walmart has some, and so does some um, natural grocers. Does it have it? Okay, I, oh yeah, I, I should have went there. Good, yeah, you, that's hit and miss. So what you do is you put your distilled water in. So you see this has, when you take this off, this has this much below it. So you need to make sure that when you put your distilled water in, you leave it far enough down that there's room for the two tablespoons of Dr. Bonner's and the oil, okay? If you don't, you'll put this in and it'll overflow. So you put your water in first, okay? Because if you don't, um, you just put it in to, so you don't fill it up, you, you bring it up, yeah, probably an inch and a half from the top. <laughs> And you do that because if you put the soap in first and you put your water in, it can bubble up and you just have bubbles and then you can't get enough water in. So put your water in first, then measure out your two tablespoons of Castile soap of your choice. And you can and then put a half teaspoon of olive oil or I prefer sweet almond oil. 
half a teaspoon. And then you can put essential oils in. Grapefruit is an antibacterial also. Lavender smells good, lemon, any of these. Um, I a lot of times will put lemongrass in, it's inexpensive, and it does last a couple of weeks. <laughs> but you can also put a drop of tea tree in if you want. That's the antibacterial. Once you've got those in, then add a little bit more water, but remember you have this that's gonna go in. So if you get it too full, it's gonna spill all out. So make sure it doesn't quite get up there. And then you just shake it up. When you're done, you put that lid on and you shake it up, put it in your bathroom, at your kitchen sink, wherever it needs to go. And you've got foaming hand soap. So I'm assuming you could use any soap you want, but then you're putting chemicals back in if you're not using a more pure soap, a liquid soap. So that's, um, that's the foaming hand soap. <laughs> it's for hydration on your you know when you're washing and it does make a difference I, I like the oil in there and and if you if you feel like you need a little more put as much as you want in to what works for you oops <laughs> sorry so you can put more oil in if you if your hands are dry consistently put a little more oil in and it'll just help hydrate your skin Okay, yes. Um, I just wanted to make a statement. I just wanted you to know that we have a drop here as your standard. It's a food co op and it has tons of this. Not everything she's mentioned almost they have. So if you're interested in picking up food once a month in the co op, we need you to sponsor that. Thank you. Good to know. Okay, another thing that I really love is my scrubbing cleanser. So I have an old peanut butter jar and it has holes in it, see that? That's high tech, nail and hammer. <laughs> and anyway, and all that is, is one cup of baking soda, a half a cup, a half a cup of borax borrowed from here. <laughs> and then you put that together and you, I, I would shake it up. Of course, I've got holes in this, so I would put my hand over and shake it. Then I would come back and put my um, essential oils in. So you can use any of these essential oils. There again, you want to use things that like are antibacterial, antimicrobial, that kind of thing. Again, tea tree oil is good. Just um, go easy. And then to mix it up, you can take without the lid. And you just put your oils in and mix it up, shake it again, because it'll, it'll dissolve all together. And then when you're ready to use it, it works so great. You just take. Is that for your dishes? Um, no, it's for cleaning your sinks, cleaning your bathroom sink, anywhere you would use. Uh, like remember HX and comment, yes. comment? Cleanser. Cleansers, yeah. yeah. You know, I haven't seen Ajax for years, and when I was in Guyana, they had Ajax. I went, wow, look at this. Anyway, I was excited. I used some there. Okay, the one other thing is called soft scrub. You know um, what soft scrub is? Well, this is a half a cup of baking soda and Dr. Bonner's Castile soap. You put them in, this is the one I use. Well, that's what you decide. You put it in until you, it comes thick like frosting. And if you like it a little thinner, that works too. You know, soft scrub squirts out of a bottle. Mine seems to get a little hard, so I probably didn't have enough of this in last time. But you just get your wash rag wet or your rag wet, and you put it in there, and it'll just come off. And you just can scrub that soft scrub, just like you would soft scrub. But there's no chemicals. <laughs> I mean, it's so exciting because I'm not totally chemical free, but I'm on my way <laughs> to be as free as I can. So I love these products and uh, I love sharing, sharing them with people. And so I'm thankful that you have come to, um, to learn.